Hey everybody, it's meteorologist Darren Leeds bringing you your weekly severe weather information. Now, a lot of times when we're tracking tornadoes, we're going to be using various products besides just radar, but we also like to use storm velocity and correlation coefficient and I'm going to break down to you what those two products are and kind of how they help us identify where a tornado could possibly be. So let's start with storm velocity. We've got reds, we've got greens, we've got a mixture of colors kind of in between. The big takeaway is green is moving everything towards a radar site. Red is everything moving away from a radar site. And typically right in the middle where you can kind of see some of those other colors beginning to mix in, that's going to help to indicate a very strong area of rotation within that storm system. So this right here, likely a pretty good indicator that we have very strong rotation and we could possibly be picking up on a tornado within that thunderstorm itself. Now, velocity isn't the only tool that we rely on. We also like to use correlation coefficient, which is a fancy word for debris detection. So you see a lot of red kind of across the board with this image, and that's typically because it's picking up on a lot of precipitation within those storms. Now, raindrops are typically the same size and shape, so those have a very low correlation, and that is what we would be picking up on with these shades of red, dark red, maroon, what have you. Now, things with higher correlation, like tree branches, dirt, debris, household debris, um, if we have seen some of those winds kind of rip off shingles or siding from homes, that's going to have a higher correlation. So that's when we're going to start to pick up on some of these areas in dark blue. And that would likely tell us we could be possibly looking at a debris ball within that storm system. But if we get some of that higher correlation mixing also with those areas of rotation, likely a pretty good indicator of where exactly that tornado may be positioned at.